Ladies and gentlemen, Lindsey Graham wants an immediate acquittal of President Trump. Now, this is interesting because <laughs> here you have an establishment Republican that I guess initially in 2016 kind of wanted to go the John Kasich route, maybe the Mitt Romney kind of path, but then realized that A, it's not really him, and B, there's no... It, it's futile, and there's no reason to engage in that tactic because you can't win. Can't win against Trump. So then he said, look, it's, you know, Democrats are obviously crooked. Media is obviously crooked. So let's see what we can do in terms of maybe trying to um, expose the corruption. Now, Lindsey Graham talks a good game. He really does. But he doesn't do a lot. He did represent during the last, the, the last Supreme Court nomination. But now you have a really, really interesting Lindsey Graham on the impeachment trial. And this, you know what, fill in the blank as quick as possible. So he wants an immediate, immediate acquittal of President Trump, which will be hilarious if it happens in, a, in an expedited manner. Senator Lindsey Graham, a top Trump ally, said Wednesday that he wants the looming impeachment trial to be wrapped up before the scheduled February 4th uh, State of the Union address. So that's really interesting. Even I, I think that even if President Trump delivers the State of the Union while the trial is ongoing, that only adds to his prestige, not, not Congress. Everyone, okay, nobody aside from Democrats, highly partisan Democrats who devote their lives to fabricating media spin. Nobody cares that Trump allegedly withheld military assistance to go after his political opponent. That's only the neuroses that exists that exist within the minds of Democrats that they're so petrified that anyone would investigate their wrongdoing. It's like they didn't mind investigating Trump with FBI officials who said, we will stop Trump. Could you imagine if Peter Strzok said, we will stop Clinton? They would never allow that. Could you imagine if Trump purchased a dossier that said a Madam Secretary enjoys uh, you know, certain things? They would never allow that, ever. Could you imagine if a foreign ambassador, an Australian ambassador said, oh yeah, the Clinton people in the Clinton campaign are doing this and that? They would never allow that. Or a professor from another country or an MI6 agent? They would say, oh my God, Trump is politicized and he's utilizing the government against his political opponents, but when they do it, it's okay. It's no problem. It's no problem at all. Even though the IG found 17 examples of deliberately falsified information. You don't accidentally, these are not errors, okay? These aren't errors. Oh, you know, it's, it's, it was sloppy. Yeah, he was, he was busy that night. Uh, Kevin Kleinsmith was going to the bar and you know, had to just hurry up. Oh, fine, here. We'll just um, omit exculpatory evidence. That doesn't happen unless it's on purpose. But I'll read you this. Senator Lindsey Graham, a top Trump ally, said Wednesday that he wants the looming impeachment trial to be wrapped up before the scheduled February 4th um, State of the Union address. The best thing for the American, quote, quote, the best thing for the American people is to end this, you know what, as quickly as possible, to have a trial in the Senate bipartisan acquittal of the president. And on February 4th, when the president comes into the House chamber to deliver the State of the Union, he will have been acquitted by the Senate. Yes. Yes. The Senate impeachment trial is expected to formally begin when Senators and Chief Justice John Roberts we get sworn in on Tuesday. Okay. Senators are expected to pass a resolution on the rules for the trial on Tuesday and start opening arguments later in the week. It's all going to end in acquittal. So the best that Democrats can hope for, the absolute best, and they have every advantage possible. They have the media. They have Hollywood. They have um, every advantage possible, and they still can't touch Trump. Nothing they do, from Michael Cohen to Lev Parnas to the Mueller report to nothing, to this impeachment nonsense, nothing they do. MSNBC, CNN, The Washington Post, The New York Times, most publications, most um, newspapers throughout the country, they still can't touch Trump. And the reason is because they fabricate everything. Now, with this is not sustainable. It's all for Clinton. Clinton's going to be the nominee. This impeachment, the, the impeachment trial, if they were ever to have witnesses, which they, who knows whether they have witnesses or not, I don't think that, that, that Bolton or Mulvaney will... They could, but
But then Republicans will demand Joe Biden and Hunter and Shifty and the intelligence operative. Rand Paul has stated categorically he demands that um, that 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 Biden testify. So again, yet again, they lose. Democrats are they they're just they create their own reality and they even lose at that. They're failures at corruption. But here, the Senate impeachment. Okay, Republican senators initially hoped to finish the trial by the State of the Union. Okay, the first phase of the trial, opening arguments and questions from senators, is expected to last roughly two weeks. That would put the end of the phase up against or potentially past the State of the Union. It really doesn't matter. The best, the int- most interesting part of all of this is that Lindsey Graham just wants it to be done quickly. Now, there's there's an there's a really interesting semantic game at play here. And the, the semantic game is the following. Um, the, they say, well, senators promise to have it be impartial. Why would that not be... Im- why would wanting a quick trial be, not be impartial? If you look at the facts, there's no direct evidence of anything, and he wasn't accused of a crime in the articles of impeachment. The, you are, they already heard the uh, testimony of, um, what, five or six impeachment witnesses. Nobody has any information. Nobody has uh, direct evidence. N- they're not saying that Bolton and Mulvaney have direct evidence. They just want to prolong. They just want, for public relations purposes, to have Bolton testify. They never stated, Pelosi s- th- has never said, Schiff has never said, Nadler has never said that John Bolton has direct evidence, that Mulvaney has direct evidence. They just want to question these people to give... Uh, media something to talk about that's it that's all they want to do they're desperately seeking some kind of story so Lindsey Graham is right um Graham on Wednesday said he hopes that nobody will be called as a witness and warned Republican senators against believing that Democrats want to get to the bottom of Trump's decision to delay Ukraine aid quote I would tell my colleagues on the Republican side that Chuck Schumer is not seeking the truth if you think Chuck Schumer is trying to find out what happened here, you're missing a lot. Graham said in a reference to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Chuck Schumer is trying to take back the Senate. So, this is really hilarious. It's kind of like the opening night of a play that Democrats have worked on for so long and nobody shows up. They don't, nobody cares. Nobody cares about this. Absolutely, positively, nobody. Nobody cares. Um, You know, Trump, the average American wants a great economy. The unemployment rate is at an all-time low. People who are looking for work, then you have some people who are like, oh, that's not a good indicator. Okay, people who are looking for work can generally find work. Thank God. Thank God. Okay, you have to be looking for work. If you're looking for work, then the unemployment rate, that, that is the unemployment rate for the, for the country. It's, it's what, 3.6%. The unemployment rate for Latino and Hispanic men is below the national average. That's fantastic. Oh, that's not a good indicator. Okay, stock market is at record highs. That's not a good indicator. Household median income is up. That's not a good indicator. Um, uh, wages are rising. That's not a good indicator. Real wages are rising faster than Obama's administration. That's not a good indicator. Nothing's a good indicator to the left. <laughs> Trump found the cure for cancer. And that's not a good in- indicator. So what? Manufa- uh, pharmaceutical firms are uh, suffering now. You know, if, if God willing Trump finds the cure for cancer, the left will say, oh my God, the layoffs from pharmaceutical companies. Trump is a tyrant. Impeach! He got, the guy can't do anything. It's all about, this is not, look, with Trump, it's not about his presidency. It's about his personality. And I love it. I said, well, you know, why would you vote for Trump over Bernie? Well, because Trump would actually implement a foreign policy that brings home Americans, which is what he's doing. Bernie would not. Bernie Sanders can't even, Bernie Sanders can't even endorse. He has to unendorse a TYT pundit, for the same reason that people are going after him 
regarding a fabricated quote from Elizabeth Warren. If that's not convoluted enough, this also is years after he failed to even say a word against Debbie Wasserman Schultz. If you say a derogatory word about Deborah Wasserman, you'll have me to contend with. Enough of her emails. I'm going to fight the 1%, but I'm going to try to ingratiate myself to the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party. That's more appropriate and uh, more accurate of a definition. They, uh, with Bernie Sanders, he doesn't fight. The guy doesn't fight. He's like gets steamrolled. He's like a doormat. Trump fights. A different story. That's why they don't like him. That's why they don't like him. That's why media can't stand him. Bernie now is being accused of saying something he never said because Elizabeth Warren uh, failed her DNA test and claims that Bernie said that a woman couldn't become president. That never happened. She's not telling the truth. Surprise, surprise. But guess what? It doesn't matter. Bernie's campaign is essentially done because of this. Bernie's campaign is essentially done. So, I mean, look, Trump's going to be Trump's going to be a two-term president. Thank God. Because you're going to see the Democratic Party is going to be forced to change. Once they once they lose again, they'll abandon ship. They'll realize they've hit too many icebergs and fi- and and that the Titanic wasn't meant to be a submarine. See, they they spin everything. Um they spin everything. There's like a there's like one correlation between the LMNOP people and the and Democrats. They spin everything. Oh, don't you know Huber? He didn't leak information. He has a trove of information. A trove of indictments. He hasn't leaked it yet. No, he didn't do anything. There's a difference. Some things just stink, okay? Well, you know, I mean, uh, Sessions uh, uh, touched uh, Durham's hand, and therefore uh, he did this, and therefore anything Durham does is because of Sessions. No. No. Every chance Trump gets, he clowns the Keebler Elf Sessions. Every single chance. Every single chance. He probably goes to bed at night. Trump is like, yeah, 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 Sessions. It's horrible. Every chance he gets, he clown sessions. Every single chance. Every doesn't he doesn't stop. He doesn't even. It's been like ten times. Well, forget about when Sessions was actually Attorney General. <laughs> every week in like on Twitter, he like you just you know totally put him on blast every single week. Uh, yeah, if I had an Attorney General, that would help me. Huh? And then even that would be spun. Huh? You know, it's it's a twenty dimensional. Some things like the Democratic Party. Oh, did the shoes about to drop? He's uh, Trump's on the ropes. Man, no, but nothing happens. Oh, Michael Cohen flipped and said, si- uh, nothing happens. Lev Parnas. Look at the Democrats are like, <laughs> Lev Parnas said, everyone's, every, all of humanity is like, who's Lev Parnas? What, what, what is that and who is that? Who's Lev Parnas? Okay. Just like basically nobody really knew who Michael Cohen was. Nobody, I mean, yes, he was famous, but the average American, I don't know how famous he was, but you talk about Ju- Juicy Smollier, Lev Parnas, Michael Cohen, Al Franken, Eric Schneiderman, Stormy, Avenatti, you know, this, this, this cast of characters, this like hall of shame of people trying to go up against Trump. And it never works out. It never works out. So, yeah, it's going it, to... The, the Senate impeachment trial is going to be forgotten about a mm, day and a half after he's acquitted. And then you'll have Morning Joe and, and Mika and, and Joe, and they'll be like, oh, can you believe this? The best was when um, Trump... This was at the height of the, the Trump-Russia hysteria where he met with, with uh, Putin and Helsinki, and they wanted him to, like, you know you know, put the DDT on him with, like, Jake the Snake and the Snake and everything. They wanted Trump to, like, you know, just clothesline Putin right there. And if he didn't do that, it was, like, an affront to everything American. And Democrats like, could you believe what he did? He stood there with Putin, and he didn't demand there would be no election interference. Uh, the ODNI report isn't even 
doesn't even state with certainty that, that Russia interfered in the election or that Russia, that Russia hacked the DNC. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Lindsey Graham demands an immediate acquittal of President Trump. That's hilarious. That's awesome. It's great. Give me your thoughts. Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel right now if you want to support my work. My Patreon is below in the pinned comment and also in the description. Thank